here i have created a scene with player edit and the top down controller ready to go so now let's spawn bullets in the player script create a variable for the bullet scene which is going to be of type packed scene this is to get the bullet scene reference in this script then define a boolean called can shoot with the default value being true then we are going to declare a new function named spawn bullet in the function we are going to check if the can shoot variable is true if that's true we are going to also check if the player presses the shoot input which is defined in the input map in the project settings and if these both conditions are true we are going to spawn the bullet to spawn or instantiate the bullet we are going to first create a variable named bullet instance and we're going to set its value to bullet dot instantiate this bullet is the variable that we exported at the start of the script then we are going to set the global transform of the bullet instance to the player's global transform and finally we are going to add the bullet to the scene using the add child method with the bullet instance passed in the parenthesis we are also adding the get parent before add child to spawn the bullet as the sibling of the player so that the bullet doesn't move with the player. You can also set the bullet as top level to do that. Now let's add a fire rate or a delay between each spawn. So first we are going to set the can shoot to false. Then we are going to create an inline timer with the wait time being 0.2. And in the next line we are going to set the can shoot variable back to true and also call the spawn bullet function in the physics process or process function that's all for the spawning now let's make the bullet move in the bullet script under process function we are going to add the position of the bullet to the transform.x of the bullet multiplied by the speed and delta to make the bullet move towards the player following its rotation and that's how you can spawn bullets in Godot.